Hi, let's learn how to create this kind of filled glass ball infographic in PowerPoint. I'll also show you how to create useful infographics like filled wine glass infographic or any filled silhouette infographic. Let us learn how to create this beautiful infographic from scratch. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes. The first step is to draw a circle. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the oval tool, hold the shift button down and draw a circle. The next step is to know the dimensions. So let us select this, go to shape format and go to size and see that the shape here is 6.03 centimeters. Now, just for good order's sake, I'm going to keep this as six centimeters and this one is six centimeters. Now we need to convert this into a 3D sphere. So let us select this, go to shape fill. Maybe we can give this a red color like this. Go to shape outline and say no outline. Then right click, go to format shape, then go to effects option, then go to 3D format. And here in top bevel, we are going to choose this first one called as round. The same way for bottom bevel as well, we can choose this first one called as round. While the changes you make to bottom bevel may not really make much of a difference, I'm just showing you in case you want to use a 3D sphere later on for some other purpose. Now we need to change the value of width and height in points. Now how many points do we need to input here? It's very simple. You see what the height or width of the circle is and then multiply it by a factor of 14.2 if your measure is in centimeters. In this case, we see that the width or height is six centimeters. So let us go to calculator and go to six into 14.2 and the result is 85.2. So we can go here. If you want to omit 0.2, it's okay. So 85.2 or 85, it is completely up to you. It doesn't make so much of a difference here. Make the same change to the height as well. Now, just for good order's sake, I'm going to make change to the bottom bevel as well with the same value. Now we've got a beautiful 3D sphere. Now let us create a duplicate of this by selecting this and by using Ctrl D shortcut and let us keep this to the side. Now let us make some changes to the 3D format option in the material and lighting segment. When we go to material, you would notice that we have this option called translucent and there is this option here called clear and that will give you this effect. Let us go to shape fill and use white fill. Now what you've got is a beautiful semi-transparent glass sphere. So you can see that when I place it on top of this, you can see that we have the semi-transparent shape. Now this one needs to be converted into a picture. So let us right click, cut this and then right click and paste it back as a picture. You can see that we have the second option here called picture click on that. Now this is a picture. Now I'm going to place this right on top of the previous one. And then I'm going to crop this shape by going to picture format and I can go to crop and then use the crop tool to crop it to any height we require. So somewhere around this height is all I require. So now we have got this filled sphere. Now to make it look even more realistic, let us add some ellipse on top of it. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the oval tool and draw an elliptical shape like so, so that it covers the top surface end to end. Now I can make my minor adjustments here. You can see that I can reduce the width ever so slightly here. Now that looks good. Now I'm going to choose the same red color that I chose earlier and I'm going to make it darker. So let us go to the same fill color Go to color and say more colors and let us go here in the custom and then make it darker like so. You can see that this is the new color and this was the old color. I can say OK. Now you can see that it looks far more natural. If I want, I can go to shape outline and say no outline and we have a beautiful filled sphere available. Of course, you can always add some shadow underneath this glass sphere so it looks far more natural. So let us go to the oval tool once again and let us draw an elliptical shape like so. Then go to fill, 
go to gradient fill and here we have the type instead of linear let us go to path you can see that is how it changes and then we need only two stops so let us remove the intermediate ones by just clicking and pulling them out to the one on the left let us use black color pretty close to black color and you can see that that is the extent to which we want the darkness to show and the next one need to be white or whatever is the slight background color and you can even add transparency of 100% if you want and then you can change the position of the first stop like so depending on how far you want the shadow to be then let us go to shape outline and say no outline now this one we can place under this sphere right click and send this to back now this looks far more natural now let us say i want to make adjustments to the height of the fill all you need to do is to move this slightly up take this go to picture format go to crop once again and then use the crop handle like so and then take it all the way up and then you can of course make changes to this ellipse by going to shape format and you can reduce it slightly and then place it right on top of the previous one make those minor adjustments which are fairly simple so here we have got it to the exact extent we want so that is how you make adjustments to your filled sphere now let me show you how we can use the same idea to create filled wine glasses effect when you search for glasses wine drink in vector graphics in pixabay.com you will get this graphic you can go to free download go to svg format and download it then you can copy the graphic come back to your presentation and paste it over here right click convert to shape then right click go to group and say ungroup in case you don't have access to svg format you can always use cloudconvert.com to convert your svg into emf dot emf format and do exactly as i am doing you just need to ungroup it twice i am going to pick up this and leave the rest so i am just going to delete all of the other ones now let us increase the size like so so this is going to be the base shape let us press ctrl d to create a duplicate the first one needs to have no fill and then the shape outline will be in black color if you want you can increase the weight of the line like so this is our glass and this is going to be our fill let me change the color of this to red so let us select this go to shape fill and choose this red color then right click cut this and right click and paste it back as picture just as we did for the previous one and then we are going to place this right on top of the previous one and then you can select this since it's a picture you can go to picture format use the crop tool and then crop it to the desired height like so now we have got a beautiful infographic of wine glass you can always right click on this and then bring it to front so you can see the outline quite nicely now the key thing here is to ensure that you write your percentages clearly on top of your infographic so people don't really have to guess the percentage of fill here whether it is your filled sphere or filled wine glasses the rule counts now what you see here is not data driven you can of course make it data driven in our comprehensive all in one powerpoint bundle we have a whole bunch of these kind of useful infographics which are all data driven now take a look at this this looks as if it is a picture but this is data driven let me make the change i click on this that selects the entire group then right click on this bar go to edit data and that opens up the accompanying worksheet here in this yellow cell you can make your change instead of 54% let us say 62% and hit enter you can see that instantly the change is reflected here in the infographic along with the data label i can close this and you can see that we have a newly updated infographic with relevant fill then let us go to the next example like this one which is sand clock and it indicates percentage completion both this and this change for example if i want to change this to say 40% completion i can go here and say the finished percentage is 40% and hit enter and see the change here 60% is still to be completed and 40% is completed 
completely data driven. This is the example that I showed you. Instead of just one percentage fill, you can have multiple percentage fills as well. A variation of this is this kind of an infographic chart. Once again, you can click on this, right click and go to edit data and make your change. For example, here in stuff eight, if I want to have this as say five and hit enter, you can see that correspondingly the change happens. And the last example is this one. It looks like a simple graphic, but this is totally data driven. I just need to select this, right click, go to edit data. And here I have 98% shown. Now let me change this to say 74% and hit enter. Now you can see that the number is changed. The data label of course needs to be manually changed, but that is a very simple thing. And you can see in a matter of seconds, we have been able to create this beautiful percentage loaded in truck infographic, which is absolutely accurate. We have a whole bunch of such creative templates available in our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle version 2.0. I will leave a link to this useful product in the description box below. You can click on the link and find more details about this bundle. If you liked this tutorial, then you might like this other tutorial that we created called PowerPoint Animated Infographic Template. It shows percentage completion in a very different way like this. You can see that 30% is shown like this, 50% and also 70% is shown quite nicely. I will leave a link to this useful tutorial right here on your screen. You can click on the link, go watch that video next and learn an interesting technique. I'll see you inside that video next.